Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Maneuvering Around in 3D Space. Blender provides a wealth of tools and keyboard shortcuts to assist modelers in maneuvering around in 3D space. If you are first learning 3D modeling in Blender, it's vitally important that you familiarize yourself with these mouse and keyboard actions so that you can clearly find and display what it is you are modeling. I've seen many students struggle with Blender, primarily because they never took the time to learn how to maneuver about in 3D space. I urge you to use and memorize these mouse and keyboard shortcuts. To demonstrate how to maneuver around in 3D space, I've added to my Blender scene a number of primitive objects, a cube, a torus, a cone, and a cap tube object. I also have the default camera and lamp objects. For now, I'll press the A key so that nothing in the scene is selected. The A key toggles between selecting everything or deselecting everything. To let you see things more clearly, I will also collapse the side panels of the 3D editor window. I'll then press the Control up arrow to make the 3D editor window full screen. Notice that initially my 3D viewport is in User Ortho or User Orthographic View. This is indicated by the view description in the upper left corner of the viewport. Whenever the 3D viewport is not in one of the prepackaged views, it is noted as a user view. If you press on the View button in the header menu, you can access links to some of Blender's prepackaged views, for instance, Camera View, Top View, Front View, and Right View. Instead, we're going to use the keyboard shortcuts to those views. These shortcuts use the odd numpad numbers, that is, numpad 1, numpad 3, and numpad 7. If I press numpad 1, the display is in front view. Notice that the display description notes that this is front orthographic view. Orthographic view is a view that is directly face on. None of the edges angle toward a vanishing point, and therefore we can see only one side of the objects, as if we were looking at them from the front view straight on. If I press numpad 7, the display is in top view. Again, this is top orthographic view. We see things as if viewing them from directly above looking down. Note that the tube object hides much of the cube object because the cube object is beneath the tube object. If I press numpad 3, the display is in right side view, as if we're looking at it square on directly from the right. Notice that we see the torus in front of the cube, and we cannot see the cone because it's behind the cube. We can now see the opposite of these three views, the front, top, and right side, by holding down the control key and clicking on the very same num keys. Thus, control numpad 1 displays the back view. Control numpad 7 displays the bottom view and Control Numpad 3 displays the left side view. Now you'll access these views in the process of modeling repeatedly, so I'll do them all once again. Numpad 1 is front view. Numpad 3 is right view. Numpad 7 is top view. Control Numpad 1 is back view. Control Numpad 3 is left view and Control Numpad 7 is Bottom View. You can rotate your view at any time by holding down the Center Scroll Wheel button and dragging. Note that the view description changes to User Orthographic. You can zoom in by scrolling the scroll wheel up and zoom out by scrolling the scroll wheel down. Center click and drag to rotate the view. Center scroll to zoom in and zoom out. You can also zoom in and out incrementally by clicking on the numpad plus and minus keys. Notice that the orthographic view is not a true perspective view. The parallel lines of the cube remain displayed parallel. They do not angle back to a vanishing point. 
To display in perspective rather than orthographic view, press numpad 5. Here my display is in user perspective view. Notice that the edges of the cube and the grid now are no longer parallel but tend to angle back to a vanishing point. I'll go back and forth between perspective and orthographic by clicking on numpad 5. Notice that when I am in perspective view and I press numpad 1, which is front view, I get a front perspective view. Here while in perspective view, I click numpad 3 and display right perspective view. Clicking on numpad 5 switches back to right orthographic view. Now much of your modeling work will be done in orthographic or user or perspective views and it's very important to understand which view you are in and how to get the view you want. I'll click and drag my middle mouse button to rotate into a user orthographic view. Now sometimes you may want to center your display on a selected object. Uh, for instance, here I will right click the cone object and select it. Now one way to center the display on this object is to press numpad period. Another way is to go to view, view selected. I'll zoom out a bit. Sometimes if you have many, many objects in your scene, you may want to single a select object and display it and nothing else so that you can work on it. Blender provides a toggle selected object local view. First select the object, here I'll select the torus object, and then click numpad slash. This centers the display on the selected object and it hides the other objects. To toggle back, click numpad slash a second time and it returns the display and unhides the other objects. You can move your whole scene by holding down the shift key and then hold down the middle mouse button or scroll wheel and drag the mouse. This allows you to move the whole scene display. I'm going to zoom in here on, a, on the tube object. Sometimes you want to see all of the objects in your scene in one view. This is called viewing the extends of your scene. To view the extends, click on the home button. Now, if you're using a Mac computer, hold down your Function key or FN key and click on the left arrow key and this will display all of the elements in your scene. To switch to camera view, click numpad 0. This displays the view as seen through your camera object. I'm going to click numpad 1 and go to front orthographic view. The last two types of maneuvering around about controls are the pan and orbit view. Pan and orbit use the numpad keys that we've not yet used. That is numpad 2, 4, 6, and 8. To orbit the view upwards around the center, repeatedly click numpad 2. To orbit the view downwards around the center, repeatedly click numpad 8. To orbit the view to the left around the center, repeatedly click numpad 4. And to orbit the view to the right around the center, repeatedly click numpad 6. Now to pan the view up, repeatedly click control numpad 2. To pan the view down, repeatedly click control numpad 8. To pan the view right, repeatedly click Control Numpad 4. And to pan the left, the view left, repeatedly click Control Numpad 6. As you can see, it's very important to quickly become familiar with the navigational Blender keyboard shortcuts. I strongly urge you to download the Blender Hotkey Cheat Sheet, which is located on our course site, and keep a printed copy of it nearby when modeling in Blender. It'll help you learn the various common keyboard shortcuts and it will greatly reduce your modeling time.